could freestyle about it, preach about it, or go off top of the head. But today I bought my notes so I could resurrect the day. Yeah! Greetings and blessings to my navigators of the seven seas. I am your locksmith, your symbologist, and metaphysical tour guide, Flat Archie 5000. And I'm back with another one as we navigate through the land of Pineal. Today we're going to unlock your Solomon's Temple to decode the esoteric meaning of Beyonce. So as always, strap on your helmet and buckle up your spacesuit because we're on a mental voyage and we're about to take off before the walls of Jericho come crumbling down. In the tradition of entering Solomon's Temple, we must use a meditative master key to help us stay on the path of enlightenment. It is these divine words that have a literal, allegorical, and metaphysical message attached to them when understood in its proper context. So today we give honors and respect to an unknown mastermind who once said, stars can't shine without darkness. Let me repeat it one more time for those of you who may have ate your cereal this morning without the milk. An unknown traveler from the seven seas once said, stars can't shine without darkness. Go on and meditate on that and click your heels three times while I ring this bell of enlightenment for that powerful meditative key of wisdom as you enter the corridors of your Solomon's Temple. Let's get to it, shall we? No time to waste. Take note, masterminds. The path of a struggling musician is often littered with obstacles and a shadow of malevolence lurking in the industry. Emerging artists frequently face financial instability as they juggle the costs of recording, equipment, and promotion while attempting to sustain their livelihoods. This financial pressure can leave them vulnerable to predation by dubious figures promising quick success in exchange for a cut of their earnings or rights to their music. One significant hardship is the prevalence of exploitive contracts. Many inexperienced musicians may encounter managers or agents who use their persuasive skills to bind them to contracts that severely limit their creative freedom and financial gain. The false promises of recognition and advancement can lead to years of servitude under unfavorable terms, leaving artists feeling trapped and disillusioned. Moreover, the pursuit of fame and recognition often attracts manipulative individuals who engage in emotional or financial manipulation these may include unscrupulous producers who promise professional development but instead offer little guidance or support. The need for mentorship can render musicians susceptible to those who exploit their dreams for personal gain rather than genuine investment in their careers. Toxic environments can also emerge within music scenes where competition breeds hostility rather than collaboration. Jealousy amongst peers may result in sabotage or betrayal, manifesting as stolen ideas or backroom deals that undermine an artist's efforts. This cutthroat atmosphere can erode the sense of community that many musicians seek, increasing feelings of isolation and discouragement. Shrina Bell for that. Additionally, the rampant culture of online scrutiny can amplify the challenges faced by struggling musicians. Harsh criticism, negative comments, and a constant comparison to more successful artists can affect their self-esteem and mental health. Ultimately, navigating the treacherous waters of the music industry requires not only talent and perseverance, but also a vigilant awareness of the potential for exploitation and adversity. Take note, masterminds. Beyonce Gazelle knows Carter, born September the 4th, 1981, is an American singer, songwriter, and businesswoman 
nicknamed Queen Bay, pronounced Queen B, she is regarded as an influential culture figure of the 21st century, a paragon of modern celebrity culture who embodies an intricate confluence of personal and public life that is rich with dark esoteric symbolism. The layered narratives woven through her career reveal profound explorations of identity, power, spirituality, and the dualities of existence. Beneath the sparkling surface of her music and performances lies a complex story, a journey marked by struggle, metamorphosis, and an ongoing battle with the spiritual and psychological implications of fame. At the heart of Beyonce's esoteric symbolism is her alter ego, Sasha Fierce. This persona represents more than just a performance mask. It symbolizes the fragmentation of identity that often accompanies immense fame. Sasha Fierce can be interpreted as a protective spirit, one that prepares Beyonce to face the darker facets of her celebrity life. Intense scrutiny, high expectations, and the relentless pressure to conform to societal and industry standards. This duality illustrates the spiritual battle inherent in her rise to fame, the internal conflict between vulnerability and the need for strength. In voicing this struggle, Beyonce delves into the broader concepts of the double life. Many public figures endure, showcasing how fame often demands the sacrifice of authenticity. Beyonce's music and visuals are also rife with occult symbolism, evoking a sense of arcane knowledge and hidden meanings. The recurring motifs of the all-seeing eye and the geometric shapes in her performances suggest a connection to deeper spiritual truths, alluding to the idea that fame carries a cause. This relationship between celebrity and spirituality prompts inquiries into the sacrifices made for success, including the potential loss of individuality and autonomy. Thus, her art becomes a commentary on the perils of the entertainment industry, highlighting the tension between the personal integrity and the allure of power. Cultural heritage plays a significant role in Beyonce's symbolism, particularly in her exploration of African diasporic experiences. In her visual album, Lemonade, she immerses herself in the rich fabric of black womanhood, confronting themes of betrayal, resilience, and healing. The use of water as a potent symbol of transformation serves as to illustrate the alchemical process of turning pain into power. Thus, she is associated with the primordial divine mothers, such as comedic goddesses Oset and the Yoruba African goddess Yemeya. In this context, water embodies the dual nature of life. It is both a source of nourishment and a destructive force. This juxtaposition reflects the complexities of her identity as a black woman, facing systematic injustices, revealing the layers of pain, resilience, woven into her personal narrative. At its core, the association symbolizes a reclamation of identity for Beyonce, particularly as a black woman in the music industry often marked by racial and gender challenges, just as the African Arisha Oshun is a protector of women and children, Beyonce emerges as a powerful figure advocating for empowerment, self-love, and resilience. She channels Oshun's essence, presenting herself as a modern-day goddess who is both vulnerable and fierce, balancing the dualities of femininity. Tea time! Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. Thus, when youth comes to age for advice, he receives the wisdom of the years. Let me repeat it one more time so understanding can be understood. Opportunity is a haughty goddess who wastes no time with those who are unprepared. Thus, when youth comes to age for advice, he receives the wisdom of the years.
Now, let us get back to the 12 disciplines of the mind. Esoterically, Beyonce often incorporates visual and thematic elements in her work that resonates with the mythology surrounding Oshun. For instance, her music videos and performances may feature water motifs, gold hues, and other symbols associated with the goddess, reflecting the connection to fertility and the life-giving properties of rivers. The use of symbolism acts as a medium through which Beyonce crafts narratives that honor her heritage, illustrating the power of black womanhood and the importance of spiritual roots. Beyonce's engagement with Oshun also underscores the significance of spirituality in her artistry. It suggests that her music and public persona are infused with deeper energies that reflect not only personal experiences, but also collective cultural narratives. By embodying the essence of Oshun, she elevates her role from mere entertainer to one of cultural icon, bridging contemporary issues of race, feminism, and a heritage with an ancient wisdom. Moreover, Oshun's association with sensuality and pleasure aligns with Beyonce's exploration of sexuality in her work. By embracing this aspect of the goddess, she challenges societal norms that often stigmatize female sexuality, asserting that it is both empowering and divine. Ultimately, Beyonce's connection to Oshun serves a powerful affirmation of black femininity, identity, and spirituality in a world that often seeks to marginalize those voices. It reminds us that the intersection of culture, art, and spirituality can provoke profound conversations about heritage, empowerment, and the essence of womanhood in modern age. Furthermore, Beyonce's portrayal of femininity is fraught with dark undertones, often highlighting the tension between empowerment and objectification. In songs like Partition and Drunken Love, she embraces her sexuality while simultaneously navigating the social expectations surrounding female desire. Here, her sexuality can be seen as a form of liberation, yet it also calls into question the power dynamics at play. This interplay of sensuality and vulnerability unveils a deeper commentary on the sacrifices women make to assert their power in a world that is often seeks to diminish it. Beyonce masterfully intertwines these elements to convey the multifaceted nature of womanhood, one that requires both strength and vulnerability. Another layer to the esoteric quality of Beyonce's life and work is her connection to the ancestral heritage and spirituality. Throughout her career, she has consistently drawn on the legacies of her ancestors. Her performances at Coachella in 2018, dubbed Baychella, was a tribute to historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, and paid homage to black culture and history. This celebration of heritage acknowledges the struggle and triumphs of those who came before her, embodying the spirit of resilience that has defined generations. In this sense, Beyonce is not merely an entertainer, but a vessel of collective memory, urging her audience to recognize and honor their roots. Question, why are we talking about Beyonce and what can we take from her life? whereas it would have any benefit to our spiritual attainment. Answer. In examining the esoteric symbolism of Beyonce's life, it is essential to consider the psychological ramifications of navigating fame. The toll of public life can lead to profound isolation and a struggle with one's inner self. This is evident in her candidness about her personal challenges, including her experiences with the anxiety and the pressures of motherhood. Such revelations expose the reality that beneath the glitz and glamour lies a soul grappling with profound soul-seeking questions. Her journey reflects a universal struggle and endeavor to harmonize the various dimensions of self amidst the chaos of the external world. Let's ring the bell for that. Thus, by understanding Beyonce's name, birthday, 
and astrological aspects provides a rich framework for interpreting her personality, talents, and challenges. Each element, numerology and astrology adds layers of meaning, offering insights into her character and destiny. Beyonce's full name is Beyonce Gazelle Nose Carter, born September the 4th, 1981. To derive the numerological meanings, we can analyze both her first name and her full name using Pythagorean system of numerology, which assigns a numerical value to each letter in the alphabet. Thus, the name Beyonce resonating with the number six embodies nurturing and harmony, while Gazelle echoes similar themes of love and warmth. Nose association with the number nine represents humanitarianism and a spiritual wisdom, indicating a deep connection to the collective consciousness. Carter, culminating in a master number, 11, signifies intuition and enlightenment. Together, these elements suggest a powerful persona who balances artistry with the commitment to social causes, embodying freedom and adaptability in her dynamic journey through life and music. Take note, masterminds. As we delve deeper into the nucleus of this science and symbolism associated with Beyonce, we find her personas also in alignment with many ancient cultures that championed the divine feminine energy in their respective societies, such as in the case of Aphrodite from Greek mythology and Venus from Roman traditions. These deities represent not only physical beauty, but also the power of love and creativity, much like Beyonce's influence in the realms of music and empowerment. The modern interpretation of her, of her artistic persona can be seen as a contemporary manifestation of these ancient ideals, where beauty is intertwined with strength and agency. In ancient Egyptian culture, the goddess Ma'at represents truth, balance, and cosmic order. Beyonce often promotes themes of authenticity and self-acceptance in her work, mirroring Ma'at's principles with the pursuit of truth and living in harmony with oneself is paramount. Her emphasis on personal narratives and social justice resonates with Ma'at's role in maintaining moral integrity and societal harmony. Just as Ma'at was treasured as a guiding force in the ancient Egyptians, Beyonce's voice serves as a beacon for many today, encouraging self-empowerment and collective action. Examining South African traditions, one can liken Beyonce to the concept of Ubuntu philosophy, which emphasizes the interconnectedness and community. In many ways, her music and activism championed the idea that an individual success is linked, is linked to the well-being of the collective. This aligns with the ancient African teachings that honor community and reciprocity. By promoting unity and celebrating culture, Beyonce embodies the spirit of Ubuntu, reflecting a deep-rooted recognition that our identities are shaped not just by ourselves, but also by our relationships with others. Finally, in the context of the Celtic and Druid uh, traditions, Beyonce's strong connection to nature and female uh, empowerment can be paralleled with figures like the goddess Bridget, symbolizing creativity, healing, and fire. Bridget's essence in, is reflected in Beyonce's ability to inspire and ignite passion within her audience by celebrating femininity and encouraging women to embrace their power. Beyonce serves a modern day representation of these ancient nurturing and transformative forces. Through various cultural lenses, Beyonce can be seen as a synthesis of myth, strength, and community, highlighting the relevance of ancient archetypes in contemporary society. Furthermore, as a symbologist might draw parallels between Beyonce and the concept of the moose from ancient Greek culture, mooses were believed to be goddesses of inspiration. Each representing a different domain of the arts and sciences, Beyonce's prolific output in music, dance, and visual art positions her as a moose for contemporary artists and audiences alike. Her ability to blend genres, push boundaries, and innovate in innovation can inspire a generation. 
much like the Muses inspired poets, musicians, and philosophers of antiquity. In this sense, she embodies that divine spark of creativity that motivates artists to express their truths and share their visions within the world. In addition, symbology can also highlight Beyonce's role as a storyteller, reminiscent of the ancient bards and griots who served to preserve history, culture, and wisdom through oral traditions. Much of her work weaves personal narratives with broader cultural commentary, reflecting a journey that resonates with many. Like the storytellers of the past, she brings forth narratives of struggle, resilience, and triumph, connecting her experiences to those of her audience and encouraging heart-to-heart -heart conversations about societal issues. This tradition of storytelling is vital in many cultures, where it serves to educate, entertain, and foster a sense of identity and community. Tea time! God calls things unseen as if they are seen into reality. Thus, what we desire to see and hear without, we must desire to see and hear within. Let me repeat it one more time so that the mind does not drift off into wonderland. God calls things unseen as if they are seen into reality. Thus, what we desire to see and hear without, we must desire to see and hear within. Now let us masterminds get back to our two fish and five loaves. Moreover, Beyonce use of visual imagery in her performances, particularly in her music videos and stage productions, evokes the intricate symbolism found in ancient art and architecture, Cultures such as the Aztecs and Greeks often em em uh, employed symbolic imagery to communicate deeper meanings. And Beyonce does the same by layering her work with visuals that evoke emotion, historical references, and cultural symbols. For example, her visual album, Lemonade, is a rich fabric of symbols that engage with African-American culture, heritage, and history, grounding her modern artistry in a broader historical context. This not only enriches her work, but also serves to educate her audience on the significance of cultural lineage. Furthermore, Beyonce, known as Queen Bey, is associated with Moorish esoteric tradition. The term Bey, B-E-Y, signifies a noble title, often associated with leadership, wisdom, and authority. It reflects a connection to the historical legacy of the Moors, who were revered for their contributions to culture, science, and governance. Esoterically, Bey symbolizes spiritual sovereignty and mastery over one's inner self. The title is also linked to the concept of elevated consciousness, suggesting that true nobility transcends material wealth and is grounded in ethical conduct and spiritual enlightenment. Embracing the essence of Bay encourages individuals to strive for personal and collective empowerment within their communities. Let's ring the bell for that. Take note, masterminds that Beyonce is also embodying the personification of the bumblebee by referring to herself as Queen Bee, likened to another hip hop artist known as Little Kim, which is a dominant and divine goddess spirit. Thus, historically, bees have symbolized community, diligence, and industriousness, reflecting their organized hives and collaborative nature in ancient cultures, particularly among Egyptians and Greeks, bees were revered as symbols of the soul and rebirth, embodying the idea of transformation and continuity. Esoterically, the bee represents spiritual enlightenment, the quest for higher knowledge, and the interconnectedness of all life. The industrious nature of bees emphasizes the importance of collective effort and the harmony of purpose, highlighting that the personal growth can contribute to the greater good. The bee's ability to produce honey is also seen as a metaphor for the sweetness of spiritual wisdom that emerges from hard work and dedication. Thus, 
B serve as a powerful symbol of unity, transformation, and a potential for enlightenment. Lastly, exploring Beyonce through the lens of ancient rituals can provide further insight into her significance as a cultural figure. Many ancient societies had ceremonies dedicated to fertility, femininity, and healing, often centered around powerful women or goddesses. Beyonce's artistry often includes elements of ritualistic performances, celebrating femininity, strength, and the complexities of womanhood. Her stage presence, marked by confidence, grace, and emotional vulnerability, invokes the spirit of these ancient ceremonies that honor the divine feminine. This connection deepens her impact, inviting audiences to participate in a shared experience that transcends time and culture, echoing the reverence of historically bestowed upon powerful female figures. Through this multifaceted interpretations, Beyonce emerges not just as a contemporary icon, but as a symbolic vessel linking ancient wisdom and modern expression. So as always in Solomon's temple, I leave you in peace with these powerful words. There is a past version of you that is so proud of how far you have come. Let me repeat it one more time. There is a past version of you that is so proud of how far you have come. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.